Whirly Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to City Skylines Mass Transit. So one of our problems here, which is why we're probably losing so many people all the time, is because about a third of our population are seniors and they're all basically dying off. These buildings over here are where most of the seniors live, unfortunately. And so we're going to be able to see a lot of death happening. Ooh, somebody young died? Oh no, there's actually seniors living there as well. Oh boy, so yeah, we have a lot of seniors here, so we can no doubt expect death. Even over here, there's some seniors, so we're going to have to expect a ton of death. Over here, it seems like we have a pretty good population of families, mostly, you know, young adults, adults. A little bit of seniors there and here and, where and whatever, but we don't have enough children, surprisingly. Hmm... Seems like we need to have more births. Oh, we just picked up a dead person. Good. Thank goodness, because we need to get that gone. Also, can I close this thing? There we go. Okay, so we're going to try to build up new areas where we're going to get a brand new people. <laughs> brand new people, quote unquote. Younger people, I should say, coming in. And I mean, our population of young adults and adults isn't really that low. So it's actually quite nice, but I really, really would like to have more kids here. Because, you know, maybe they might just stay here and might grow up here be part of the economy and whatnot, so we definitely have to try to make that happen. Now, I want to see if there is a... not that, one of these guys here. Just to see if there is somehow, some way we can maybe promote the whole having babies thing. <laughs> I don't know what's the thing. It would be nice if it is. I really currently don't see anything. Power use, water use, pet ban, smoking ban, parks and rec, educational, recreational use. Hmm... It doesn't say anything about bringing in younger people, though. I I don't know if there's such a thing. If there is, please let me know in the comments, because I would love for there to be a lot more... The population would be much younger, basically. Just, it has to be younger. Let go of leisure? What? Leisure, specialized areas, stop generating tax income, but get a hefty boost in their entertainment. Oh, don't really need that right now. Clearly, we are trying to fix up other issues that we're having. Um, no rebuilding, no. Definitely need rebuilding in airings. VIP area. Any and all shelters and policy area are reserved for only citizens living in the- Aha! Aha! I kinda like that. I kinda really like that, but, uh, not gonna mess with that right now. Lightning rods, old town, NIMBY, nope. None of these things are gonna help us bring in younger people or have more babies, and as you can see, we're still losing tons of people. Even though we built up a nice residential area over here, I don't think it's even close to full right now. No, it's not. Right now, for some reason, we have a pretty hefty commercial demand. I, I guess not that hefty, but it's pretty sizable. And, oh, somebody died there. Hmm. And also, we are lacking a lot of workers here. It's really not going so well for us now, is it? At least not in these areas. So what can we do to maybe bring in more people? That's one of the things, that's one of the questions that I have. And really, one of the things that I've thought that maybe we can do is we can build some kinds of unique buildings. Of course, we're going to bring in tourists. I don't know if tourists actually move into the areas where they visit eventually. Like, maybe they might be like, oh, you know what? This place isn't that bad. It looks kind of nice. Maybe they might want to live here. I don't know. It's definitely one of those things that I do want to check out and see if it'll work. Let's see. So what kind of thing do we want to place here? Obviously, we don't want to place a football stadium that's going to be super loud and a little bit ridiculous. Statue of Wealth, Statue of Industry might go well. Kind of sort of somewhere here. But as you can see, there is a lot of sound produced. And also, another issue that we have over here is traffic. There's a lot of traffic going in and out from this area because of all the industrial that we have here. Maybe having more stuff here not really the best idea. We could, of course, drop something nice and touristy over here. Maybe have this as a nice tourist area with, you know, a proper beach, maybe? Something like that? Even though we have some random s shops over there, it's a little bit too random. But hey, you know what? It's just, it's a start. Mall of Moderation, Friendly Neighborhood Park, Fountain of Life and Death. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like something that we probably should have just because we clearly have a lot of death happening here? Let's see, that doesn't even fit anywhere in here. That's a little bit unfortunate. I would love to get something like that here. But for now, it seems like we are probably not going to build any of these, unfortunately. What is this? Tax office? Hmm. I mean, maybe we could. We could, but it feels like one of these things should be maybe... Oh, wait. The, this can go down here. All right, we're going to destroy a few things then just to get that in there. Because I think that would probably be better suited. Oh, it makes a lot of noise. But then again, we already have a lot of noise complaints over here. So that's, you know, not making the whole issue better. But it's not going to make it worse either. Because 
We have a lot of commercial on along the way here, and so, oh, are people dying from that? Because there's a lot of dead people on this street. If that's the case, I might have to swap these out, because I really would prefer to not have some people dying of noise pollution. Although, we have a hospital right here, so I'm a little bit confused as to why they're not visiting the hospital. Hmm. Seniors are being a little bit weird. I think they're just kind of sort of okay with dying, which I am not okay with at all. It looks like we're having a little bit of crime over here. I'm surprised we have a police station right there. What's happening here? We should be taking care of that. We should be able to take care of that, but it seems like we're just not doing so. That seems to be most of the problems here. Just people being dumb and not getting treated for their illnesses, and then crime not being taken care of when it needs to be. So, a lot of seniors dying basically like all over the place. However, it looks like we're losing less and less people per day, so that's definitely, you know, better than it was before. We do have a bit of a commercial demand right now, and I think it might be a good time to look at that and see where we can drop some more commercial. Obviously, I don't want any over here. I'm thinking that we should probably get some along the beachfront over here and then swap it out if we need, you know, this area for something else. So let's go ahead and do some nice little buildings over here. Little buildings, yeah, right? These are like the big commercial ones, so we're gonna have another big, very, very busy area here. But the bright side is that we do have, uh oh, we don't exactly have exits here, do we? No, we just have on ramps and off ramps, although they do get off there, so I guess that is an exit. Never mind, I take back what I said, that is an exit. It works just as fine as any other exit, so it should be okay. Alright, so there we go, we have some buildings there. Are these all watered up? Not all of them, some of them are. So let's go ahead and expand this all the way up to there, and it looks like we're gonna need a little bit of water coming through in here so let's do something like that short so that should be everything there and of course we are going to replace some of these with some of our unique buildings because i do want some of these here so let's see tax office we already have one what else we have here we have an opera house oh that is like perfect for like by the water however it looks like i don't know i feel like that wouldn't be right there like it just does not seem like the right thing to have there an expo center by the water sounds about right. A stadium, mm. sea and skyscraper. Okay, that's actually probably perfect. Requirement for building the medical center. Wait, what? Huh. I don't know what that's about, but sure. Uh, theater of wonders, and over here we have a bunch of other things. The Majesty. We have Pinois Street. What is this? Eddie Cavango. Wow, there's a lot of things. My gosh, I didn't ever realize that there were so many different buildings here. Well. Let's start placing. We're going to go ahead and start with the sea and skyscraper. I figure that maybe having that one all the way at the end here might be proper, even though it might get a little bit loud, but you know what? This area is meant to be loud, so that's going to be okay. Also, in this area, hmm, we're going to need some room for hotels and whatnot, but I saw something over here that was a little bit funky, and that was that we don't have enough leisure in some of these areas, like out here on the outsides. There's plenty, you know, on the insides and whatnot, but on the outsides... There's just nothing. So let's see what we can place over here that actually fits. Because I want to make sure that they fit in the, the little blocks so that way we can add some more when we add new streets. So let's go for something like here, I think. That should help with some there in the corner. Of course, we're going to need some over here as well. Does that fit there? It does not. Hmm. That one's way too big. Way, way, way too big. This one, that's also pretty big. However, we could fit it in there. I think that wouldn't be that much of a problem. Maybe something smaller, though. Yeah, you know what? That one works as well. Sure, sure. So we're going to take care of that. And it seems like over here we're going to need some help as well. However, what can we fit? Really, what can we fit? That's that's all that we need here. Uh, maybe in the corner? Because it seems like there's a lot of death happening here. So I would like to get rid of that somehow. Oh, there's something already there. Is it that? Okay, never mind. I was able to put it down. Never mind. So what is this? <laughs> Plaza with picnic tables. You know what? That's totally okay with me. I kind of like that that's there in the corner of the street there. So, wow, there's a lot of people just uh, upgrading right now. That's nice. Although, you know, there's still a lot of dead people here. How many uh, seniors are dropping for sure? 1%. Adults are going up. Hey, look at that. So maybe now we are having some people moving in, although we're still losing quite a lot of people and still having a lot of deaths compared to births. So we really need to maybe build in some new areas, although we still have, you know, this whole residential area to build up. And it looks like they're all families for the most part. So that's really good. That's definitely in the up and up, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's the proper saying here, but uh, we're definitely getting into a proper area. This <laughs> two seniors living there. Well, 
I guess that's okay. I guess that's not the worst thing. It could be all seniors and then we would be in big trouble. Also, we don't really have enough workers over here. As you saw, the unemployment rate was, I believe, 4%. Yeah, so we need more people somehow, some way. And maybe that means that we're going to have to build in a brand new area, which, I mean, we did intend for that to happen, but we never actually did it. Ooh, it looks like we're having some kinds of issues over here with crime. So let's see, we can probably place this right there, and this should be okay. Hopefully that takes care of all of our current crime issues, because that's just not really what we want. Wow, this area looks a little bit weird. I kind of like it, though. I kind of really do like it. Oh, did somebody just leave? I swear it looked like somebody left. Also, eventually, I believe the oil will be depleted, so we're going to have to deal with that. Might maybe changing this area to something else soon. But for now, it seems like it's working. We do have a little bit of traffic issues because, oh, they have to stop at the trains. I mean, we're not really getting any trains here, so is there any way to make them stop stopping there? Because we don't need that happening. Um, hmm. Wow, wow, my god, there's so much traffic. Jeez, they're all trying to turn around, too. We really, really need to get this connected. However, we are not able to buy this area until we can, you know, get more people, and that's just not happening. We are still losing tons of people, no doubt about that, and seniors are down to 28%. Yeah, they're all dying, you guys. They're definitely all dying right now, and no doubt we're going to see tons of death happening here. Um, let's take a look at our... Uh these guys here so we can see exactly how many people there oh my gosh my gosh how many are you dispatching all seven of them are out there where is our cemetery because i know we have a few cemeteries 10 are in use my gosh so we're trying we're definitely trying to take care of all our, our death problem but it seems like it's just way too much and maybe what we have right now is yeah, you know what? That's clearly not enough. So we're going to have to build some more of these guys. And hopefully that's going to help us <laughs> one on each tree. I mean, that's, look, that's looking like what we're going to have to do for sure. Because this is clearly just not working. Oh my gosh. How many more do we need? I think we're good. I think, I hope we're good. We have one there. We have one like maybe on every block. Is that going to be a little bit ridiculous? That might be a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to put one there. I wanted it to go on that street, but whatever. It's going to go wherever it needs to go. Okay, so lots of death. Hopefully we can take care of some of it, and if not, then we're going to have to find something else to do to make sure that this does not spread any more than it already has. It was as how I expected that our seniors were just dropping like flies. And so we went from 30% to 22%, and we're losing less and less people now per week. Thank goodness, because things were a little bit too crazy there. We're losing also less money now, so that's good. Eventually we'll get all this death cleared up in... We should hopefully have a population that's not always dying. I really hope that's where we go to next because just really don't want to have that kind of issue. Over here, though, we still have plenty of seniors, so we're still having tons of death. We're trying to take care of it, but obviously, you know, we can never be quick enough, honestly. There's just going to be a lot of people dying all the time. 21%. We just dropped down 21%. Yeah, they're still dying, like, by the hundreds. I want to say by the thousands, maybe, but... Uh, it doesn't look like this happening anymore. It happened for a while and just that's no longer the case. All right, so over here we made a specific tourism specialization area. So all of these should be like hotels and whatnot. Best Eastern. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hotel Intercontinental Night Inn. That doesn't really look much like an inn, but sure. Call it what you want. Over here we have the Octa Hotel and let's see. Hotel Haya. Yeah, we have Haya. We Haya. I see you, game. I see you. I see what you're doing. Yes, the hotel. Wow. We have um a little bit too many hotels here, but I guess this is where everybody's going to stay, basically. So I guess that's kind of sort of okay. And then we, of course, have our sea and skyscraper, which has had a few tourists. Now, because this is such a tourist, such a big tourist area, I should say, we need to add something to maybe help them out a little bit, because we're going to need a taxi stop somewhere here, because, you know... I imagine that they're going to be dropped off maybe from someplace via taxi. So let's go ahead and drop this. Let's see, our metro station's right there. We could put this there. That wouldn't be that bad of an idea because then we can just go from the metro station to taxi if we need to go somewhere else and the metro station doesn't go there, right? That makes some sense to me, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. All right, so we have a taxi stop somewhere. We don't really need another taxi depot. I don't believe we do, do we? Let's see, our only taxi depot is all the way over here. And, oh, we're using 25 taxis out of 25. Um, 
actually, I'm going to get rid of that because <laughs> clearly we might need some more taxis. Let's go for a taxi depot here, and then we're going to make the taxi stop somewhere else because I think that makes some more sense, right? There we go. Taxi depot there. It's on a really weird hill. I apologize for the people who have to actually work there. They're going to have to deal with some craziness there. And let's have this like somewhere over there. It's weird. It's really right off the main road, but mm, I kind of want to keep this main road for the nice businesses. What the heck is happening over here? Happy memoir souvenirs. I am so sorry somebody died there. That is like the saddest thing that could happen there. Suddenly you're working and then somebody kicks the bucket like right during your shift. Oh, man. Also, I really like the way this looks. It reminds me of some buildings in Korea. Just the way they are with the tables outside, the big open area right there. And then like different multiple types of um, businesses all in one building. That's, that's really cool. I really like that. Okay, so this seems a little bit weird now that we have that there. It's, an, it's a big office building in a whole commercial area. That seems a little bit weird. So maybe what we can do is add something that's a little bit more touristy to this area. So let's see. Do we have anything that's maybe like a big hotel or something like that? Because for some reason, I have it in my mind that we do have something like that. So let's see if we can find it. This is a fantastic fountain. Uh, romantic date? Mmm. That thing is actually massive, though. It is pretty massive so i don't know if i want to add it a stadium might work although it, again this is probably not the proper place for it i want to make sure we have like a specific area for it that we go like we extend one road and then we have a stadium there although we could could have probably put it somewhere over there but mm, it's a little bit too late for that statue of wealth um i'm okay with that i guess and let's see what, what is this transport tower is a large office building special especially meant for public transit oh Aha, uh -huh. so that could be something that we place. Ah, the Mall of Moderation. Yes, this is definitely something that I wanted to place in this area here. So I guess since we have such a big, wide area right over here, I'm going to go ahead and just place this guy right there. And since this is also, you know, a, an office building, I guess we could probably put this here if it fits. Does it actually fit a little bit better than that? You know what? I may have to move this skyscraper here because I want them to kind of go in the same area to keep things looking kind of neat at least in my opinion it'll look kind of neat well I guess that's enough stuff enough specialization leisure type stuff for this area high interest tower many companies like to have offices in it because of the lovely view oh science center hmm I mean this would probably go better over here in the university area right a, a big science center somewhere over here and we do have space for it like right over here we could we could maybe go for it somewhere along this road, something like that. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe we can have it somewhere down here if it's going... Excuse me? I'm trying to put it roadside. Aha, there we go. So we could probably have it somewhere over here. I kind of like the placement of that. At the same time, it might be a little bit too loud for the people living nearby. Oh, you know what? There's not that many people ne living nearby. So I guess that's kind of okay. Sure, let's go for that. Let's go for that right there. And I guess that's, you know, topping off the whole university area. An expo center makes some sense as well for the university area, but I don't want to do that. Stadium, theater of wonders, nah. and of course we have all these other buildings. Research center, for sure, for sure. You know what, I want to place, maybe, can I place two of these? No, I can place just one. Oh, that's a little bit sad, but you know what, that works there. Robotics Institute, same thing over here. You know what, we're going to go for these. We're going to just go all out and make a whole bunch of crazy areas over here. With things that kind of make sense for our quote-unquote smartest, should be most educated area. So let's just go ahead and do that. Software de development studio. Okay, that one for sure I want to have somewhere else. So we have a science center, we have a nanotechnology center, research center, and a robotics institute. I kind of like it. What else do we have here? A space shuttle launch site? No, you know what? That definitely goes somewhere else. That belongs somewhere else. I'm thinking that maybe this one would work here, but mm, I think I want to save that for a totally different area. Right, so now we have quite a few areas where maybe visitors might want to check out and, you know, tourists, I should say. Tourists should visit. But, you know, they stay over here. That's really not a far drive from this whole area, so I guess it's okay. What we could do is we can add maybe a taxi stop somewhere here. Let's see. We, ooh, we're going to have to get rid of that if we do that there. I guess it's okay. It's just, uh, we could probably put it over here, although the other taxi stop is right there, so it's a little bit lazy. Okay, so we're gonna do that over here instead. Sure. Let's do that, and maybe that's gonna be fine. Maybe that's gonna work okay. I don't know. And what is this? So let's see. We have end of line. Ooh, I can't, I always forget about the cable cars. So we could have some cable cars going in soon, but 
I think I want to wait just a little bit because clearly we're still dealing with... Oh, we're getting people now. I was like, clearly we're still dealing with a massive death wave. Maybe not as much as it was before. There's still a lot of dead people around. No doubt about that. We should be using a bunch of hearses right now. We are. It seems like we're maybe using all of them right now, which... Fair enough. Just as long as we can get this whole thing cleaned out. And let's see. How many seniors do we have? 17%. 17%, you guys. And we lost a bunch of people, too. It's not like, you know, we gained a bunch of people, suddenly we gained a bunch of, like, children. No, it's just that more children were born than people died. So this is good. This is definitely where we want to go to. And hopefully, hopefully, we won't have that issue happening ever again. But, uh, you know, that means that we're not going to... We're going to be unable to build out large sections of residential at a time because that's exactly what happened. We built a lot of residential at a single time and then everybody there died. Maybe same thing here, like building this whole thing there ha made that a big problem? I don't know. Seems like over here we have very little death. What kinds of uh, people are we having here? Well, it looks like we are getting some seniors there, so that's starting to become a problem. No seniors there, thank goodness. And over here we don't really have very many seniors, but some people have been dying? Huh. Hmm. There's definitely a cause for concern. Also, it looks like maybe this whole area is filled up now? I think it is. What the heck is happening over here? Oh, nobody's moved in there. So we have mostly a filled up residential zone, so we're going to have to start zoning other things pretty soon for some more residential. That way we can get some more younger people coming in here and living and getting jobs, because clearly filling this up with the people who actually aren't educated was not enough so we might have to create more of a residential area over here with people who still aren't very educated that way these areas can fill out nicely and we'll always have workers for it but for now it seems like we're gonna struggle with workers because we just don't have enough people so we're definitely having some issues with not enough goods to sell and it looks like we're losing a little bit of money i'm not 100 percent sure why that is but we want to take care of that so let's take a look at our traffic. Let's see, where is the traffic got it here? Outside connections, population, traffic has to be like a car type thing, right? Traffic, there we go. All right, so it looks like traffic over here, really not that bad. I kind of like that it's not really that red. However, once we get to this area, it's pretty terrible. So we're definitely gonna have to change something up about that. I mean, we did make this connection out here to t try to take care of some of those issues and they kind of sort of do, but clearly not enough. So this, probably not the biggest issue that we're having with traffic. This area is still pretty red because of how many cars just have to go through here. But this, no doubt, has helped a little bit with our issues, so that's good. We're still getting tons of, wait, we're still getting tons of traffic over here. I thought that wasn't happening anymore. Okay, at some point that did start happening. Okay, where are you guys going? Let's see. You're a bus. Oh, what? <laughs> You're a why are you here? Your return to the station. Let's see, a hearse. Okay, that makes sense. Garbage truck. Aha! These aren't just regular cars. Most of them aren't regular cars. These are service cars and whatnot. Lots, lots of garbage trucks. My gosh. No wonder nobody's getting their garbage. And the buses are basically stuck there for like forever. Well, you know what? Everything suddenly makes sense, you guys. Everything suddenly makes sense. These, let's see, a hearse. I know I saw a random car. Is that a bike? That's a scooter. Why are you on a scooter? You're going to a residence. Exactly where are you going, though? Can I see where you're going? Wow, that's the most impractical way of actually getting there. That's definitely an interesting thing, though. It seems like people who are going to the residential area don't have any way of getting there besides going all the way through. So... I think what we're going to have to do is make a road from here to here, which is really not that big of an issue because I think this area should maybe have a, a policy that says nobody who doesn't live here can go through here, right? Let's see. Let's take a look at our policies here. Can we see the policies on this one? Yes, we can. Uh, what? Okay, here we go. Recycling. Good, good, good. Uh, city planning. Heavy traffic ban. Old town. All right. So only residents and business can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor... Okay, good. Good. So, yeah, as soon as we add in this other road, we should have just people who live there going there. So let's go ahead and add ourselves a nice little exit. I think we want to make one proper highway exit with two lanes. Sure. All right. So let's see. One, take it from maybe here and expand it all the way out to 90 degrees there and bring it to... Oh, geez. 
not really what I had in mind. <laughs> that is really not... I mean, we could bring it all the way there and have them go all through here, but that seems a little bit too troublesome. Yeah, I really don't like that. Let's go for something like this and maybe there. Ooh, you know what? That works a little bit better. No doubt about that. I kind of like this best. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we have now an exit, so that's good. And did that go underneath all the power lines? I'm pretty sure that did. Wow. Okay, I kind of like that. Sure. So now people can get off here and go home instead of going all the way through here and causing massive traffic jams, hopefully. So let's see if anybody actually starts using this, because obviously this side of the road is pretty occupied with people still trying to get all the way over there. So let's see. Is anybody coming this way? I really don't see anybody using this just yet, so hopefully someone will. I mean, maybe the traffic has to reroute. Okay, there we go. We had an ambulance or something like that come through. And uh, Anybody else? We do have the on-ramp there. We have an off-ramp here. So maybe that should... I mean, I'm surprised that it's really not working as well as I would have hoped for. Okay, there we go. We have one car. Well, at least one person's smart enough. Oh, the police are actually smart enough too. And... <gasps> Oh my gosh, there's the helicopter! Yes! They're going to uh, the Hemlock residence, which is where exactly? Oh boy, where's the helicopter? There we go. So Hemlock residence might be somewhere over there. I want to follow this helicopter and see exactly where it's going, because I think that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously it has to land on top of something, and that means it must land on top of some kind of building that has a helipad, right? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Otherwise, there's landing like in the middle of the street. That might be a problem, <laughs> honestly speaking, though. It looks like it's heading to some place like that's somewhere over here. Which is a little bit weird. Oh, we're having some fire over there. Ooh, well, burn, baby, burn, because I am not checking it right now. We need to see where this helicopter is going. Let's see. Where exactly are you going to land? Are you really going to... Oh, you're going to float above the house. Okay. You're just stalling... Oh, wait. You're not floating above the house. You st went into the street. What? Sure. I... Uh, I guess. All right. Where was that fire anyway? Where, where was the fire? Fire? I, uh, <laughs> not so sure it was burning, but something was burning. Well, rest in peace. If anybody died there, I am so sorry that you guys burned. Is there enough fire coverage over here? There is definitely some. We have one there. One, why do we have two in this area? Well, whatever. It's properly covered. It's adequately covered, I should say. Let's go ahead and add one maybe right here into the street corner to cover whatever else we don't have covered there. Okay, so let's see. People are definitely using this like crazy, and this is now getting a little bit stuffy there, which I guess is okay as long as you maybe get people going through here a little bit faster. I really do not want any stoplights here, so can we change this? That, wait, that's traffic. How the heck do I change it? Just roads. There we go. Wait, that's not what I want. Junctions. There we go. No traffic light. Everybody can just flow through. There shouldn't be much reason to really stop since... I mean, there's like some people going through there, but it's really just not that many people. So yeah, just keep flowing through. That should help traffic a little bit going there. And it looks like it's really not that much. What? Are these all buses? What? Okay. They, wah, ha, ha, hi. Hi, we really don't need that many buses. Let's go ahead and change the budget for the buses a little bit. Because right now we have way too much craziness happening there. 90%. And that means that we have how many buses now? Let's see. Do, do, do. Vehicles 25, 36, that's way too many for that many passengers. So this is still a little bit too, too much. We have to lower that still. Oh my gosh. What are we going to budget? 50%? 50%? Let's go to 50. Because it seems like we're still going a little bit too crazy with the buses and we don't need that many. Oh, 50 is the lowest. Wow. Well, if this works, then it was, I guess it's going to be okay. Let's see. We dropped down 16 vehicles, 26 right now, 15, 14... I mean, I ideally would like maybe 10 for each of them, that's it, but this number is still a little bit too much. It looks like we're still dropping. Good. Okay, well, maybe we're not going to have so many buses anymore, which means we should have better traffic flow, because clearly the buses were causing some kinds of problems here, and that was not good at all. And it looks like we are getting traffic coming through over here, which is good, because that helps clear up this crazy area here. So, now we're still looking pretty red, but we do have... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Now, this area is looking pretty red. They should be able to go through pretty easily. It looks like, oh boy, a business piece out. Or maybe, yeah, it was a business, wasn't it? This road might be a little bit too thin for the amount of traffic that we should be getting in here. So I might have to change something about that. But we're going to have to do that later because clearly we're going to have to move the cemetery, empty it out and whatnot, which we should maybe start doing right now. Yeah, let's do that right now so we can get rid of it. And let's see, death... 
We're looking pretty good, you guys. We are looking pretty good. There's some here, there, and everywhere, but it's not as bad and as widespread as it was before. However, we're still having a lot of not goods for not enough goods to sell, which might mean that we're gonna have to change something about this, because there's still quite a bit of traffic over there. Let's see. I mean, it's not as red coming over here, so I think there is good. But once we get all the way over here, this road is way too small for what it is. So, let's go ahead and maybe upgrade that and see if that'll work for us. Because clearly, maybe two lanes is exactly what we need right now. So, let's see. Upgrade that. And can we get people actually adjusting themselves now? There we go. Because obviously, some people are trying to go over this way. And they're not going to be able to if we don't have enough lanes. So, that helped a little bit. Because now people that have to go this way are actually going that way. But there's still a lot of traffic into this area. Where are they going? Let's see. They're going all the way down here and around. Are they trying to get to this? Are they trying to get back onto this highway? <gasps> no! Why? We have like this whole cool intersection thing and they're still like going from here trying to get onto this. I'm pretty sure we can get onto this from... Not there. Road coming through here. Nope, that goes through there. Road coming through here. Yeah, you can go right through there. What are they doing? That's weird. That is definitely weird that they're doing that. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out some other solution for this. But we'll definitely do that in the next episode. Because that is it for this episode of City Skylines. If you enjoyed, hit that like button share your support. And do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And have an awesome night.